chapter 12. Here is the list of the priests and Levites who had returned with Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, and Jeshua the high priest, Seraiah, Jeremiah, Ezra, Amariah, Meluch, Hatush, Shechaniah, Herim, Meremoth, Edo, Ginnathon, Abijah, Miniamin, Moadiah, Bilgah, Shemaiah, Joarib, Jediah, Salu, Emuk, Hilkiah, and Jediah. These were the leaders of the priests and their associates in the days of Jeshua. The Levites who had returned with them were Jeshua, Binuai, Kadmiel, Serabiah, Judah, and Mataniah, who, with his associates, was in charge of the songs of thanksgiving. Their associates, Babukiah and Unai, stood opposite them during the service. Jeshua the high priest was the father of Jehoiakim. Jehoiakim was the father of Eliashib. Eliashib was the father of Joida. Joida was the father of Johanan. Johanan was the father of Jadua. Now when Joachim was high priest, the family leaders of the priest were as follows. Meriah was leader of the family of Seraiah. Hananiah was leader of the family of Jeremiah. Meshulam was leader of the family of Ezra. Jehohanan was leader of the family of Amariah. Jonathan was the leader of the family of Maluk. Joseph was leader of the family of Shechaniah. Adna was leader of the family of Herim. Helkai was leader of the family of Meramoth. Zechariah was leader of the family of Edo. Meshulam was leader of the family of Ginnathon. Zikrai was leader of the family of Abijah. There was also a leader of the family of Miniamin. Hiltai was leader of the family of Moadiah. Shamua was leader of the family of Bilgah. Jehonathan was leader of the family of Shemaiah. Metanai was leader of the family of Joairi. Uzai was leader of the family of Jediah. Kelai was leader of the family of Salu. Eber was the leader of the family of Emok. Hashabiah was leader of the family of Hilkiah. Nathanael was leader of the family of Jediah. During the reign of Darius II of Persia, a list was compiled of the family leaders of the Levites and the priests in the days of the following high priests, Eliashib, Joida, Johanan, and Jadua. The heads of the Levite families were recorded in the Book of History down to the days of Johanan, the grandson of Eliashib. These were the family leaders of the Levites, Hashabiah, Sherebiah, Jeshua, Binuai, Kadmiel, and other associates who stood opposite them during the ceremonies of praise and thanksgiving, one section responding to the other, just as commanded by David, the man of God. This included Mataniah, Babukiah, and Obadiah. Meshulam, Talmon, and Akub were the gatekeepers in charge of the storerooms at the gates. These all served in the days of Joachim, son of Jeshua, son of Jehozadak and in the days of Nehemiah the governor, and of Ezra the priest and scribe. During the dedication of the new wall of Jerusalem, the Levites throughout the land were asked to come to Jerusalem to assist in the ceremonies. They were to take part in the joyous occasion with their songs of thanksgiving and with the music of cymbals, lyres, and harps. The singers were brought together from Jerusalem and its surrounding villages and from the villages of the Netophathites. They also came from Beth Gilgal, and the area of Giba and Asmaveth, for the singers had built their own villages around Jerusalem. The priests and Levites first dedicated themselves, then the people, the gates, and the wall. I led the leaders of Judah to the top of the wall and organized two large choirs to give thanks. One of the choirs proceeded southward along the top of the wall to the dumb gate. Hoshiah and half the leaders of Judah followed them, along with Azariah, Ezra, Meshulam, Judah, Benjamin, Shemaiah, Jeremiah, and some priests who played trumpets. Then came Zechariah, son of Jonathan, son of Shemaiah, son of Mataniah, son of Micaiah, son of Zakur, a descendant of Asaph. And finally came Zechariah's colleagues, Shemaiah, Azarel, Melalai, Gilalai, Mei, Nathanael, Judah, and Hanani. They used the musical instruments prescribed by David, the man of God. Ezra the scribe led this procession. At the fountain gate, they went straight up the steps on the ascent of the city wall toward the city of David. They passed the house of David and then proceeded to the water gate on the east. The second choir went northward around the other way to meet them. I followed them with the other half of the people, 
along the top of the wall past the tower of the ovens to the broad wall, then past the Ephraim gate to the old city gate, past the fish gate and the tower of Hananel, and went on to the tower of the hundred. Then we continued on to the sheep gate and stopped at the guard gate. The two choirs that were giving thanks then proceeded to the temple of God, where they took their places. So did I, together with a group of leaders who were with me. We went together with the trumpet-playing priests, Eliakim, Measeiah, Miniamin, Micaiah, Elioenai, Zechariah, and Hananiah, and the singers, Measeiah, Shemiah, Eliezer, Uzai, Jehohanan, Malkeja, Elam, and Ezer. They played and sang loudly and clearly under the direction of Jezrahiah, the choir director. Many sacrifices were offered on that joyous day, for God had given the people cause for great joy. The women and children also participated in the celebration, and the joy of the people of Jerusalem could be heard far away. On that day, men were appointed to be in charge of the storerooms for the gifts, the first part of the harvest, and the tithes. They were responsible to collect these from the fields as required by the law for the priests and Levites, for all the people of Judah valued the priests and Levites and their work. They performed the service of their God and the service of purification as required by the laws of David and his son Solomon, and so did the singers and the gatekeepers. The custom of having choir directors to lead the choirs in hymns of praise and thanks to God began long ago in the days of David and Asaph. So now, in the days of Zerubbabel and of Nehemiah, the people brought a daily supply of food for the singers, the gatekeepers, and the Levites. The Levites in turn gave a portion of what they received to the priests, the descendants of Aaron. 